Hello everyone. So in the continuation with the Laplace transform, we'll be dealing here with the Laplace transform of unit step function. So in engineering applications, we frequently encounter the functions whose values changes abruptly at specific values of time. One common example is when a voltage is switched on or off in an electric circuit at a specific value of the time t. Okay, so let us let us first define what is it? Okay, so by uh, the end of the session, you'll be able to evaluate the Laplace transform of unit step function and displayed or delayed unit step function. So if you'll observe this u of t is equals to zero, t less than zero and is equals to one, t greater than zero. Uh, some of the time, uh, most of the time, this u of t, this is the, you know, this is the notation I'm using. But this u of t can be replaced as h of t also, and sometimes it is it is also replaced as theta of t. It is depending upon the, uh, the notation. So this is what is the function. So if you'll observe, the value of this function is 0 for t less than 0, and it is 1 for t greater than 0. So if you'll observe and the graph of this function, the function, the graph will be like this. So it's known as unit step function. So this name itself will tell you it's a unit. Unit means one unit step function because the function, the value of the function is zero for the values t less than zeros, and it becomes one abruptly one when it is going when t is going greater than zero. These are the way these uh, these functions have very good applications in the real life scenario. There is one more type that is known as the step function it is u of t minus a which represent the function u of t which is displayed by a distance a to the right so if you observe the graph of this function it is like this so it's the 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 function becomes zero and if you we'll define the function here it is zero for t less than a t less than a so instead of this zero over here zero over here we have got an a over here so it's known as a displayed or delayed unit step function. And this becomes one for t greater than a. So all positive a, or you can say the any a, it, it might be negative, it might be positive, but this is greater than a, this value of the function becomes one. So uh, so that means what the, uh, the value of t, uh, the switching process can be described mathematically by function called unit step function. So this is what is a function. Otherwise, it is known as Heaviside function or Oliver Heaviside function as well. Now that is u is a function of time. U is a function of time and u has a value zero when the time is negative. Before we flip the switch and the value one when time is positive from when we flip the switch. And in many circuits like this, in many circuits, the waveform are applied at a specific interval other than t equals to zero. So we have applied it here at t equals to a. Such a function is also known as uh, shifting or you can say or shifting fun uh, using shifted or it's known as delayed unit shape function. These are the very, very important functions. So let us go and see the Laplace transform of this unit step function. These are very simple and we'll be deriving the Laplace transform of this functions using the definition of Laplace transform, which we have already done in the, I think, lecture number two. Uh, so uh, u of t is zero that we have defined here, though uh, Laplace. So it's a definition Laplace of u of t is equals to integration zero to uh, infinity to the power minus st u of t dt. The value of this function u of t becomes zero for less than t and it is one t so zero to infinity this is the one value we have put it u of t as one and we have got the this e to the power minus st integration of this e to the power minus st by minus s integration is from zero to infinity i've i've given the detail about this e to the power minus st when when what will happen when we are putting it as infinity we have to use the limit over here so now I'm skipping that uh, steps over here and therefore it is equals to one by S. Similarly, if we'll find out this is delayed function that is U of T minus A. If this is the function what we have seen in the last slide and Laplace of U of T minus A is equals to integration uh, zero to 
integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t u of t minus a again this u of t minus a is 1 and therefore but but what is it what what should be the uh, the t at that time the t is from a to infinity and this is what one we have put it this is just a very simple examples what we have done it in the la first session so e to the power minus st upon minus mm -hmm. s a to infinity is equals to 1 minus e to the power minus s if you have any difficulty to find out the limit of this e to the power minus st if putting to the infinity or going to infinity we, uh, please refer the session one where we are where i have given you the laplace transform of the of few of the functions using the definitions so there you will understand it properly session one and two okay so laplace transform of the function f of t u of t minus a so it, this is what is it until the last uh, uh, slide we have used this f of t instead of this u of this f of t we have here one now what will happen instead of that f of t uh, this one we have got some function over here for the u of t so this is u f of t into u of t minus a so this is what is the definition definition is e to the power minus integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t into u t minus a dt now but u of t minus a dt or otherwise you can say this entire total function is having the value of, of t and having the value 0 at t less than a so we have excluded this first value because it's a zero a to infinity to the power minus st f of t dt and therefore i have to put the substitution here it's t minus a is equals to x and dx is equals to dt is equals to dx because i need to have this uh this limit i need to change the limit over here right so this a to infinity instead of that i need zero to infinity and there i put the limit according t t minus a is equals to x so after putting t minus a is equals to x, we have got this function as 0 to infinity or this integral as 0 to infinity e to the power minus t has been replaced as a plus x. So it's x, x plus a into f of x plus a dx, dt as same as dx. And therefore, it's e to the power minus a is a constant with respect to x. It will come out of this integral. It is 0 to infinity e to the power minus a, sx, f of x plus a dx. And it is same as e to the power minus a s 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t f of t plus a dt so the, actually this is not a substitution this is just to show you the the exact shape and therefore i have just put it here replace x as t and which is equals to e to the power minus a s laplace of f of t plus a which is same as e to the power minus a s into f of s plus a f of s plus a why this is f of s plus a this is by first shifting theorem so this is nothing but i have to write down f of s plus a over here similarly this is what uh, instead of f of t if we have f of t minus a the same procedure we have to follow almost the similar uh, you can say the integration we have to solve it uh, this is 0 to infinity to the power minus st f of t minus a u of t minus a dt then this is u of t this is this entire function is equals to uh, f of t minus a for the function or the for the value of t which is from a to infinity and therefore we have to substitute here t plus t minus a is equals to x and why why we need that because we wanted to switch this a, a to infinity limit from zero to infinity because we wanted to write down it this as the laplace transform definition or the definition of laplace transform and this t is equals to a x is moving to zero t is infinity x is moving to infinity and therefore laplace of f of t minus a u of t minus a is equals to this so every t has been replaced as a plus x so this is e to the power minus s a plus x f of x because it's t minus a is we have taken it as x dx as dt as dx e to the power minus a s will come out zero to infinity e to the power minus sx f of x dx it is nothing but the Laplace transform of f of x and therefore it is nothing but e to the power minus a s f of s. So if you observe this both the slides, my suggestion for you all is uh, whenever you are just uh, uh, watching this videos, always keep your pen and paper with you so that it will be easy for you to cross check each and every step. Okay. And then this is the self observation slide which is find the Laplace transform of this three functions I have given. I have already solved these three questions, three functions, the Laplace transform of 
these three functions in my vectorization. But again, the same thing. When you, how many times you will practice, you will get an expertise of that particular topic. So take the pen and paper, try to solve it on your own. Along with the answers, answers are also there. So cross check your answer and cross check and, and uh, observe. You can do your self assessment over here. So it's known as self observation slide for you all. I hope you have understood. Thank you. Happy learning.